Today's match day hospitality was at the Emirates Stadium, home of Arsenal Football Club. We arrived in North London about two and a half hours before the kickoff. Then it was through security of the hospitality reception and we received a program on entry. Up the first set of escalators, we then made our way into the Royal Oak for a quick look around. This is a members only bar area with loads of seating and memorabilia. After a few minutes and a quick check of the map, we realized we needed to head upstairs again and to the Avenal Club. This was the lounge that we would be checking out today and it's one of Arsenal's premium packages. Staff were on hand to welcome us into the lounge. We then received a lanyard on entry which we had to wear throughout our time inside the lounge. Then it was off to the cloakroom to hang up our bags and coats. This was very smart and a nice touch and some of the hangers were even reserved for members and season ticket holders. We then made our way into the lounge which had a good amount of seating as well as screens for the pre-match coverage. We then made our way back to the table and checked out the menu. Staff were also on hand to talk us through what was on offer. At the start of the afternoon, we were also given a glass of champagne, which we enjoyed at the bar. There was a very good atmosphere inside the lounge, but we did find that it filled up quite quickly. So if you are looking to get a table, it's worth turning up early. We also wanted to avoid the rush when it came to food, so we made our way up to the food stations. All of the food inside the lounge is locally sourced and freshly prepared, so we went for a roast dinner. We then took our food back to our table and enjoyed it with a view of the pitch. Then when we finished our food, it was up to the bar for a drink. In the Avenal Club, all the bar drinks are included and there's a good choice of beer, wine, spirits and cocktails. We'll come on to the cocktails a bit later. If you are still hungry, there are cheese boards and small plates which are topped up throughout the afternoon. And it provides a pretty cool experience being able to tuck into some good food whilst watching the Arsenal players warm up. Shutters do come down inside the lounge about 15 minutes before kickoff. As we headed outside, there were blankets available, particularly good if you feel the cold. It was then down a few steps as we tried to find our seat. But before this, there was a chance to meet an Arsenal legend. And it's worth saying that the padded seats themselves were very smart and very comfy. And more importantly, the views from the seats weren't bad either. At half time, there were snacks which matched the red and white of Arsenal. And we decided to have another drink whilst watching the half time highlights. Back outside for the second half, and we did have a quick catch up with Casper Lee. At full time, there is another glass of champagne, or you can have a coffee and cheese toasty. And something that the bar staff were very keen to do was make us a cocktail. And we were told there is a different signature cocktail every time there is a home game. And on this occasion, we went for, I'll keep you guessing for a little bit. Well done if you know your cocktails. Yes, it was an espresso martini. Again, all drinks and cocktails are included throughout the afternoon, and this one was pretty special. And something else that was a nice touch, especially for someone filming all afternoon, were the wireless chargers which were built into the bar. Tickets are £1,080 per two people per match, with other hospitality packages starting at £180. We then made our way home after a very good afternoon, but not before we saw a couple of familiar faces. Where should we go for the next padded seat? <laughs> 